So in this video, I will teach you how to create maps with Google My Maps using a variety of file formats. The first file we will use is this red light camera locations records, which is a, a file available on Open Data Ottawa. If we click here on the download option, we see that we can download a full spreadsheet as a CSV and that we see at the very bottom. In the bottom left corner, it says that's a CSV file, so we could download it, clean it up. You could download a KML, a shapefile, or a geo database file. We will use the KML file format. Know that if you were to come across a KMZ file format, they are very similar and there is a converter that you can use. The link to that converter is actually in the hands-on activity for this week. So I will click on KML which will proceed to download the file. Then I will come to Google My Maps. Notice the URL. It's not Google Maps, it's My Maps. So go to google.com slash maps slash d slash u slash zero or just type Google My Maps on uh, Google or you could come to your menu and um, you might be able to find it depending on your preferences. So I'll click on create a new map. And that's the interface we get. I've downloaded my file, so I will just minimize that. And then I will click on import. Now I can drag a CSV file, an Excel spreadsheet, a KML file, or a GP, uh, GPX. I will uh, click on select a file from my device. I'll come to my, my downloads. I will click on here and now the file is being processed. You actually see it here, it's loading. Now I have the locations of 55 red light cameras in Ottawa. If you click on each one of them, you have this info box popping up. I could click on the edit button here and I could tell the system that I no longer want those items. So I do not want the description in French, longitude, latitude, and so on. I just want the location description in English. And you notice now that the uh, and sign turned into this um, and AMP symbol. You could always fix it. I will show you how. So we'll click on save. Now, whenever I click on one of those markers, I only have the location description, but there is still this at amp um, quirk. So I could come here click on open data tables. I clicked on the three little uh, dots here and I could manually fix it for each of those 55 entries. Or you could always download the CSV format, uh, file format, clean it up, upload it. I will show you how to upload a CSV later on. For now, it doesn't matter. We will leave it as is because my goal was to show you how you can import uh, and upload a KML file format. So I'll click anywhere to minimize those windows. Now we have individual styles, which means that I could style each of those markers individually by clicking here, for instance, and putting it orange. And then I could put a little star and there you go. Then I could select this one here, click on the little bucket, put it yellow and put parking and so on. Another thing I could do is to click here on individual styles and put either a uniform style, a sequence of numbers. I could format them based on the columns. So if you have different values in those columns, you could use different colors. For now, I will click on uniform style. There's that. Now, if I click on the bucket again, I can put say red and use the camera symbol because we're talking about red light cameras. My layer here, um, all I did is, was that, uh, is that I clicked on it. My layer has a weird name, so I will just call it red light camera locations as of 2018. There are new cameras, but we have an older file. It's fine, so I'll click on save. Now it's much more user friendly. I can click here on the three little dots or click on map to retitle it, so I'll put red light cameras in Ottawa and I will put as of 2018 55 cameras were in 
installed as of 2018. There you go, the description. Much more user-friendly. Now, I can click here on base map and choose a different map. Uh, so a different base. I could have the satellite view, this uh, topographic map. So if you look at Gatno Park, we have um, to the topography, so on. We'll leave it as it was. And another thing I could do is to click on Add Layer. Now I have a new layer. What we will do for this layer is that we will use this map with the wards. Again, you can click on Download. It's from Ottawa's Open Data Portal. You can download a spreadsheet, a shapefile, or a KML. Once more, we'll click on the KML option. But note that there are different file formats with their own advantages and disadvantages. It's really up to you to experiment. Now, I will come back to my red light cameras in Ottawa. I will click on Import. I will click here. I will select my wards, open. I will minimize the window at the bottom. It's still loading. And now we have the different ward boundaries in Ottawa, which is pretty neat. So we see that in Dunrobin, uh, around the Dunrobin area here, which is ward, I believe, it's kind of hard to see, ward five. We do not have red light cameras. Same thing for those wards here. So you could rename the wards manually by clicking on um, each of them, say uh, here. I could click on this little button here and I could um, deselect um, everything except for the ward's name in English. Or if you were doing a map in French, you could click it. Um, you could select the French version. You can have the uh, ward in English, um, all caps, or you could use the lowercase. I think in this case, you can use either or. So we'll click on save. And now whenever you click on the info box, you have the name of the ward um, popping up. So that's neat. What we could then do is click on the bucket and you could actually add color and remove the transparency. And now you see that this small ward here is color coded. I could do the same for ward seven. Click here, choose blue, remove the transparency or add a little bit of it. There you go. And you could style those wards individually. You can also click here, open data table, and you could fix a typo uh, if you needed to. You, you have access to the uh, spreadsheet, which is kind of embedded within that KML file. What I will do is that I will click on individual styles and I will put uniform style and I will leave them with this light blue for now. I'll click here and now you see that when you click on a ward, you can actually move the perimeter. So you could always fix it if, say, the city were to announce that now uh, an extra street um, was added to a ward or whatnot, you could do it. But that's how, in a nutshell, you create a map using Google My Maps and already existing map files, such as KML folders or KML files. Once you're done, you can click on share. You can enable link sharing and you can make the map public using those options here. And then you would uh, be able to share it with your drive. If you click on the three little dots here, you can then export your map as a KML or KMZ. You can embed it on your site and so on. That's what we would like to do. So embed on my site. And now I have an iframe that I can copy and paste and you could always modify the width and the height uh, using your uh, HTML CSS skills. So that's how in a nutshell you would create a map such as this one and now we have two layers. We have a layer with the locations of the 55 uh, red light cameras which had been installed as of 2018 and we have another layer with the different wards. Mm -hmm.